hey man, I watched I watched your video, I subscribed to your channel. I watched your videos, I subscribed to your channel because I like the way you talk, I like the things you're talking about. They, I just like your content. And they were they did the things that I that I said. I don't remember exactly in what video I said them, but they said they followed what I was talking about and now they have a job. I don't I don't remember specifically said that it's here's the message. It's right there. So that message made me happy. It, it, it made my day. And then I got another message where someone was asking how come I chose to do the course in, inside of the course, how come I chose Vue.js and Node.js? And th that's out. First, I'm gonna explain to you what Vue.js is and what Node.js is, and then I'll explain to you why why I wanna use those things. Why, why, those, why those are gonna be the technologies in the course. So Vue.js Vue is what is known as a front-end framework. And in the course, I go into depth about, about front-end frameworks, but this, let's think about this. Vue.js controls the stuff that you see, and Node.js controls how you get that stuff. Yeah, I think that's about right. So Vue.js is on the front-end, and Node.js is on the back-end. The reason why I chose those two is, number one, because I understand JavaScript. Like, I know JavaScript, I, and I know, I, just, I know JavaScript, and Node is built to run JavaScript. So by, by using Vue on the front end, we use, we, we're using JavaScript. And by using Node on the back end, we're using JavaScript. So we only have to know one language. Now, it's not, it's not a bad thing to know multiple languages. It's a very good thing to know multiple languages. But for someone who's just starting out, it may be a bit taxing to, to have to. So you learn, you, first, first, you, first as, a, as a beginner, you, you learn you learn about the concept of programming and you learn a little bit about how things go together and then you learn the syntax of a language and now, and you build one part, but then you have to learn the syntax of another language to go build another part, which which can make things hard. Now there's stuff out there that'll, that'll do a lot of the work for you, but if you use the things that do a lot of the work for you, then you really don't get an understanding of how that stuff works, which kind of defeats the purpose of going through this kind of course in the first, or, or going through the course that I'm putting together in the first place. That, and I don't know Laravel, and I don't know PHP. I'm sure I could learn PHP, and I'm positive I could learn Laravel, I'm positive I could learn just about anything. It, just like anyone out there could learn just about anything. But when it came to putting together a, a, a actual course where I'm gonna walk somebody through this entire process, I have to talk about, I, I don't have to, right? But I figured I would, I would, it would it would be different if I focused on stuff that that I that I really liked and I really cared about and then that I really understood. Now some of the things in the course I don't understand them all the way completely, but I understand them well enough to help someone who knows nothing understand. And if there's yeah. So again, basically that's why I chose to go with JavaScript and Node because in order in order to get everything up and running you have to understand you, you have to understand the basics of computers you have to understand the basis of computer science and then when you when you set up view for your front end then you learn more about how the front end works and you learn more about how that particular library came to exist and and, and again right we could be using any 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 front end framework that says using any number of libraries but View view is popular. I thought about React, uh, but again, I'm not. I know just about is I know I know just as much about React as I know about View, and it's not a, it's not a whole lot. So while I'm going through this, I'm basically filtering the information that I'm learning out to the the people who are learning it. Another reason why I chose View in Node.js is because I want to be able to. Well, I mean. It, I would be able to maintain and upgrade and add features with any other technology, but again, I really like JavaScript. I really like Node.js. And so I figured that's the way I would go. Now, in a in another course, maybe after this course, I'll do something with a different framework. And I was thinking of doing uh, Python and Django, where we where the, the same process all over again, but completely different technologies. 
yeah. So that's 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 why that's why I, I went with view in Node. I just had to pick I had to pick something, and I wanted to pick something that would give people the most amount of knowledge in the shortest period of time, and I wanted that knowledge to be to be useful. I, in the in the sense that they could either build their own thing and turn it into something that makes money and earns them a living that they can continue to grow or they could take what they learned and they could go out and they could get a job working in that particular industry or field um, or they could potentially just freelance and just build this stuff for other people on their on their own now I don't expect everybody to learn everything under the sun in, 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 in one course, but again, the goal is so that anybody, just about anybody can go through the course and by the time they finish, they'll have a well enough understanding to number one, be able to build anything they want, and then number two, be able to go out and learn anything they want. And I wanted to use some very core principles and I wanted to be, one thing that I've struggled with is getting is, is, is finding this place in between the layers of ab abstraction. And I think I found that with this particular setup that I wanna use in this course, right? You have like the ultra low level computer stuff that's like really complicated for a lot of people. And then you have the really high level stuff that's like super simple. So low level would be would be the, the C code that Facebook uses to, 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 to run its algorithm or manage its servers or whatever it does. That's the low level. It would be really hard to take that skill, those skills of the low level, that really low level, level stuff, and turn it into an everyday business that anybody could run. On the other side, you have like, you're way far abstracted. You have Facebook, which is an application and you can log in and you can click your pictures, you can friend your pictures, you can like send messages and do all this stuff. You know that, but you can't, you can't build it like you can't there's and there's no way somebody else would pay you to teach them how to use Facebook or pay you to access your Facebook. Well, maybe maybe there's cases where somebody would where you could resell your Facebook. I don't know. But the point is, is I wanted to insert people in a place where they could have an idea and they can go out and they could build that idea themselves and know that they built it themselves. And, and, and even, even if they were decided not to build it themselves, they would be able to go find people to do the, the portions that they want done. So you could go find somebody who's really good at view and you can have them build the front end and you can find somebody who's really good at node, you have them build the back end. Or you can just go find somebody in general and say, hey, I wanna build this thing, this is what I wanted to do. And you'll have the entire blueprint because that's a part of the course. We map out everything, every I'm everything. You have a blueprint you can take to a developer, and then as they go through the process, you can ask them questions. Okay, like uh, how is this talking to that, and how does this talk to the database? Where is the customer information stored? How how do we know it's secure because of this and that and the third? So you have this knowledge that you can go out and you can use. But again, right? You can use any technology. You can use any language. You do all this stuff, but for now, for me, on this, I'm starting and I'm sticking, I'm sticking, I'm sticking with Node and Ex View and Express. Express Node, Node, Node powers the whole thing. Express is Express is the back end for the web server, and View is the front end for for what all of you and your customers see when they when they load your web page and they log on to it and all of that stuff. So. All right, so I went through and I'm, I, I'm working on I'm working on the front end again. I'm still trying to wrap my head around routes and how routing works. I got it. I got it. I got it figured out. It's just it's it's harder when you don't understand the complete folder structure of how everything is put together. And I think I mean there's a lot of stuff I think. But so anyway, so I'm still I'm still wrap trying to wrap my head around routes. And once I have that, I can I can I can finish building all the other components to the to the app. And after that, I can go into to making sure the the user registration and logon system is working the way it's supposed to work and it's secure. And then I can integrate uh, the shopping cart. And after that, I can go out and I can do I can start marketing this app. And that's gonna be in the course too. So after you've built it and it's making money, then you can you'll you you can 
go through the rest of the course and it's gonna tell you how to market and sell your app. And I, I think I talked about like, like selling of the business at some point or the, the products and services that the business has at some point. I talked about that earlier in this video. But, but that's, that's, that's the whole concept. That's the whole concept. And those are the technologies. Those are the, that, that, those are the technologies that I chose. So for you guys that are watching, uh, for you guys that are subscribed, well, obviously, if you're, yeah, for those of you that are subscribed, if you're not interested in me talking about uh, coding, starting, growing, marketing, it sells, and, and some basic life philosophy type of stuff, right? That, that is, is all my opinion. Um, and then maybe some stuff here and there about the military and you know what I learned here and there. If you are interested in that stuff, then you wanna unsubscribe. Um, just unsubscribe because that's the kind of content that's gonna be coming out of this channel from now on. We're talking about, we're talking about using code to, to build stuff to build lives to make money to to live the way we want to live that's what we're talking about now if you aren't subscribed and that sounds like something you're interested in then you want to subscribe you want to hit the notification bell you want to leave a like and if you if you're feeling so bold just leave a comment leave a comment tell me why you subscribed and all of that stuff for now I'm gonna get back to work and uh, I don't I don't know exactly hmm. I probably need to edit this video. But anyway, I will see you guys I will see you guys I will see you guys in the next video.